So my grandparents live in a house connected to ours, which is great, but there's only one boiler room and it's on the far end of our house. So it takes a long time for the hot water to travel to their house so they can use it for well, washing dishes and showers and stuff. So I thought it would be cool to build this little circuit um, with an ESP8266 uh, board and then hook it up to a website so my grandparents can just push a button on a website or something and turn the water pump on and they'll get hot water in 45 seconds. So let's demo this thing. I'm going to turn my computer so you can see the screen and the circuit at the same time. An LED will come on. So I press down on the button and that green light came on. The water pump's also on, but it's very quiet, which is fine. The line coming out of the pump, of course, is the hot water. And then there's the return line. the full loop. You can see in the background there's a timer plugged into the wall that my grandparents are currently using so that they can get hot water at certain scheduled times, you know, maybe six o'clock so that it'll be ready after dinner to do dishes or something. But we'll ultimately be replacing that system so they can push a button and get hot water on demand. So that's the circuit working. I'm going to power it down, unplug it, and kind of show some of how I did this. You might recognize this little, little battery USB adapter from another circuit, or a, uh, from another video I did. So, solid state relay uh, takes DC on one end and controls AC on the other. And I bought this little thing for $2, you know, at the dollar store. And let me open it up so you can see what I did. But essentially, we just took the live wire from the input side and cut it off and then soldered two wires going in. There we go. Pull this guy out. One will stay. Okay. All right, so you see one of the wires is soldered to all of the neutrals, I believe. Flip this over. No, this one's live, okay. This is live, and then this one is, well, it's, it's also live, it's just the other side. Um, and then I left ground the same, and I left neutral the same. So, well, that's a little bent. So be it. So, you know, if you buy a power strip that has a wire coming off of it, it'll probably be easier to just snip that wire uh, where, where the live wire is and connect your solid state relay there. But, you know, the way I did it, you really can't beat can't beat the price for two bucks so that works pretty well put that back together later well I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and uh, if you think this circuit would be useful for something um, for any ideas that you have let me know in the comment section if you want more information about how I built it um, but other than that, thanks for watching.